Hey everyone, I am Mr. Helper. Today I am going to show you how to add Valorant in NVIDIA GeForce Experience. This is a requested video. As you can see on the screen, I am sharing some of the comments of yours. Okay, so I hope you guys are watching this video. Guys, let me tell you this first. This video will be a quite long one. But rest assured, after watching this video, you will learn all the steps to add your game in NVIDIA GeForce Experience. Okay, so please try to understand, don't comment before watching this video completely. And guys, if you want me to make a separate video on your topic also, then feel free to do that. All you have to do is just subscribe to my channel, then press the bell icon and then ask your question. And if I found your question interesting, then I might make a separate video on your topic also. Okay. So that's been said, let's get started. Okay, so what you have to do is simply open your browser and go to my website which is www.imrhelper.com Link is in the description box below. Just open it. Okay, as you can see at the time of this recording, this post is at the first position. But as time will pass, this post will gonna move to the second position, then third position and so on. And if you are watching this video after 2-3 months later, then I afraid you will not gonna find this post at the home page. Okay, in that case what you have to do is click on this search button and type NVIDIA. Just search it like this. Okay, as you can see, I have made a lots of videos in this topic like how to add games in NVIDIA GeForce Experience. Okay, but today we are interested in this one, right? So open the link, open the first post. Okay, once you open my website, scroll down a little bit. And as you can see, I have divided this video into multiple parts. Okay, so a little bit about this. Uh, what we're gonna fix in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add Valorant in NVIDIA GeForce Experience. What are the difference between GeForce Experience and GeForce Now? This is very important. If you didn't get this properly, then I think you won't be able to fix this problem. Look, there are two products of NVIDIA. One is GeForce Experience and one is GeForce Now. Okay, so scroll down a little bit. And as you can see right over here, download links, I am providing you lots of website link. But rest assured, all the links are official website link. As you can see right over here, this is an official website of nvidia.com. This is also an nvidia.com. Once again, nvidia.com. And the last one is also from nvidia.com. And this is from epicgames.com. And this is playvalorant.com. So as you can see, I don't provide any scam links. Don't worry about that. Okay. Okay. So let's get back to the topic. Okay. So what are the difference between GeForce Experience and GeForce Now? Open the link one by one. Sorry, not this one, this one. Open these two, okay? Open these two links. So as you can see, this, oh boy. Wait. And uh, GeForce Now is a cloud-based uh, program. Not, uh, I mean, it's a subscription program, I think. Yeah, this is a subscription program. program. That means you pay certain amount, okay? And after that, you will able to play all the games in your mobile device, and in your laptop and in your uh, tablet, other other uh, devices. But in other hand, GeForce Experience is not like that. It is a program which help you to share your screen like this. Share your, I mean, create your clip, then optimize it. I think lots of product, uh, lots of things you can do with GeForce Experience. But GeForce Experience and NVIDIA GeForce Now is two different things. This is a subscription based program which you can use to play your game in your devices on the other hand you can do you cannot do that with the geforce experience okay now the thing is the important thing is get back to my website and right over here i'm providing you two website link once again nvidia.com but this is this link is for geforce experience supported game list and this is a geforce now supported game list okay so click on it one by one okay Okay, so this is GeForce Now. Okay, and this is for GeForce Experience. Okay, as you can see, link is GeForce Experience Games. Now, if you scroll down a little bit, 
as you can see right over here in GeForce Experience Valorant is a supported game that means you can add Valorant in your GeForce Experience let's check does it also supported in our GeForce now or not scroll down okay as you can see lots of game is supported let's check it out does Valorant is supported or not as you can see Valorant is not supported in GeForce now that means you cannot add Valorant in GeForce now but you can add Valorant in GeFor GeForce experience I hope now that makes sense to you you cannot add Valorant in GeForce now but you can add Valorant in GeForce experience so this video is about how to add your Valorant game in GeForce experience not how to add Valorant in GeForce now okay these two are two things okay this is a subscription based and at the moment at the time of this recording Valorant is not supported in GeForce now okay if you are interested to know how to download your GeForce experience then what you have to do is click over here or you can download it from internet like google it but I am providing you the website link nvidia.com as en which is english GeForce okay click on the link to download okay so click on save it is 125 MB okay so once you download it just install it I'm not gonna show you I'm gonna download this one but I'm not gonna install it because I have already installed it okay so this is a very easy easy thing to do just download it and install it once you install it what you have to do is you have to download the Valorant okay but in your case you might be using epic games launcher to run your valorant or maybe you are directly using your valorant client okay so i am assuming that you are using valorant client it doesn't matter whether you are using uh, epic games to run your valorant or directly using valorant client uh, launcher to run your game it's up to you both are the same thing okay as you can see i'm once again i'm providing you the off official website link so not to worry about it okay i know i don't trust i i always say like please don't trust any third party website obviously my website is a third party website but guys i am the one who is saying like third, don't trust on the third party website so but still if you want to download from epic you can do that if you want to download it from valorant valorant play valorant.com you can do that okay so i'm gonna go for the last one last option which is play valorant.com slash gb uh, en the web website link okay click on download So it is downloading which is around 65 MB. This will not gonna take that much time but I'm gonna fast forward it okay. I'm gonna fast forward it. While our game is downloading guys do me one favor scroll up and click over here so your support is required okay. Click on this link to subscribe to Mr. Helper. Click on this link to follow me on Facebook which is facebook.com slash Mr. Helper you can see over here. Twitter, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Tumblr, okay? Just click on this link to subscribe, okay? Let me show you can what you have to do. Just subscribe to me, okay? Just subscribe to me. And I have a second channel also, if you don't know. I have a second channel also named as Papno. Please do me a favor, subscribe and press the bell icon. Once again, subscribe and press the bell icon for my second channel also. Okay. And if you can do me more favor, like if you can support me in Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch or Tumblr, that will be great. Okay. So please do me a favor and subscribe to my Facebook, Twitch, uh, Twitch and other other social media platform. Okay. Okay. So this is taking way too much time to down. This is bad. I'm going to fast forward this one. Okay. Whenever I have to do downloading, I'm gonna fast forward, but don't worry, I'm not gonna skip anything. I am also providing, um, yeah, support my second channel. So if you click on this link, this is the link for my second channel, Spap. No, if you click on that, to so subscribe me on Facebook. I hope you will gonna subscribe, guys. Show me your support. I really want your support. Okay, my Valorant is downloaded successfully. Now all you have to do is uh, minimize your browser, then double click to install Valorant. Now I'm gonna go for the advanced options. Where do I want to install? I'm gonna click over here. 
then I'm gonna install it on my uh, E drive program files okay I'm gonna install it over here you can install it wherever you want to okay click on ok and it will gonna take okay 20 GB only okay click on install it will gonna do downloading I think yeah preparing it's installing okay I'm gonna fast forward this part okay guys okay now I have to do is sign in okay I'm gonna do that I'm not gonna show you my username or password don't worry I'm gonna skip it okay once you put your username and password over here sign in okay like this okay click over there to sign in I'm gonna skip this part okay so it, this is term of service please read it if you agree with that then click on accept if you agree with that then click on accept okay so it is downloading guys it will gonna take a little bit time okay I'm gonna fast forward this part as I said before I'm not gonna waste your time by showing you how long it take me to download okay this is annoying guys I am having 300 mbps plan and and the maximum speed I'm getting is 5 mbps this is so bad guys so bad this will gonna take around one hour for me to download man oh my god this took me one hour and 15 minutes or maybe more than this to download this game oh my god I never waited this long before even GTA 5 does not take me this much time I really don't understand why this took me this long Anyway, I'm getting this problem like your game requires a system restart to play. Please restart your computer. If this issue continues, reach out to our player support team. Okay, now I'm gonna restart my PC and then I'm gonna explain the next step, okay? So see you there. Okay guys, I'm back. Now what you have to do is simply open your GeForce experience. Sign in with your account, okay? I'm not gonna show you how to sign in. It's very simple, just username and password, okay? Once you signed in, what you have to do is click on these drivers, check for updates. If you're having any update, just download it. In my case, I don't have any update. I'm using the latest version of uh, GeForce Experience. Now click on Home and click on this Settings button, this gear icon. Click on it. Now click on Add. Now go to the location where have you installed your Valorant okay in my case I have installed if you remember I have installed it in my e drive program files riot Valorant select it okay just select the Valorant folder select it now once again click on add then make sure to add these two also like if you have installed your Valorant inside riot games Valorant now go back and select both of these okay just select it then once again access it 86 also I have selected this one now I have to select this one also select it why I'm asking you to select these two also the thing is in future you might add new games and that in that case you don't have to add the game again and again like this so the best and easy method to get this is like if you install your games always in your e drive program file inside program files folder right so you don't have to scan again and again it will automatically gonna stand scan for you okay so that's why I've asked you to add these two folders also and this is for Valorant okay now click on scan now and go to home it is scanning and as you can see five games and application found what our target was add the Valorant in right Okay, so as you can see Valorant is added and my computer does not meet the minimum requirement to play this game, right? It doesn't matter. I am not interested to play this game in this PC, okay? In case if you are having a hard time, if your game is still did not added like this, then what you have to do is check for hidden games. Maybe some sometimes we hide our games by mistake like that. As you can see, I just hidden my game, okay? So in that case what you have to do is click on this filter and there will be an option at the last hidden just select that okay and as you can see this game is this game was hidden I intentionally hidden it but maybe by mistake you have hidden it 
so what you have to do is just unhide it from here so game or application just unhide it then go back to all okay and you will gonna find your game over there okay okay guys so this is the way you can add your valorant game inside your geforce experience okay in case if you having any question then please let me know in the comment box below okay but make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys don't forget okay there are two links click on this link to subscribe to mr helper this is the mr helper channel link follow me on facebook twitter and click over here to find my second channel youtube channel link facebook twitter please do subscribe guys i need your support okay so yeah guys and in case if you having any question let me know in the comment box below and if i if i found your question interesting then i might make a separate video on that but you have to subscribe for that okay subscribe press the bell icon and then ask your question okay guys so that's all for today guys thank you for watching this video it's time to say goodbye so until then take care have a nice day and i will see you next time bye